Governors have expressed their displeasure on the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich for delaying disbursement of 65 billion shillings that was part of a deal struck a week ago during the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council meeting chaired by Deputy President William Ruto. The National Treasury was instructed to release the funds to enable counties clear bills accrued from April this year. Francis Gashiro reports on the unfulfilled promise. Four days to the end of 2018-2019 financial year, counties are grappling with a debt burden, running into billions of shillings, an intergovernmental budget and economic council meeting a week ago, resolving to ease the county's load through an immediate 65 billion shillings disbursement by the National Treasury. But seven days later, no money has hit the county's accounts. The Council of Governors, through its chair, Wycliffe Oparanya, dispatching a letter marked very urgent, to the National Treasury, reminding Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich of the IBEC meeting's resolutions. The governor's lamenting that five days to the end of 2018-2019 financial year, the delayed disbursement was adversely affecting operations in the devolved units. Part of the 65 billion shillings that was to be disbursed last week was to offset verified pending bills that were estimated at 108 billion shillings until the Auditor General, after a probe, confirmed that up to 37 billion shillings that was categorized spending bills were ineligible for payment. According to the Council of Governors, the debt burden in counties include development commitments worth 33 billion shillings, verified pending bills valued at 42 billion shillings, personal emoluments of 37 billion shillings, and operations and maintenance costs of 15.3 billion shillings. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.